Look at these pictures. Aren't they precious? Can you save a life? For just 39 cents a day, that's less than a semi-ton a week, you too can save one of these sheep from a timber wolf. The timber wolves are coming. Can you save a life? Please give now. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of One Minute Synthesizer Reviews. On today's episode, I'm taking a look at something a little unexpected. Most of us know Akai from the legendary NPC line of drum machines, but what you may not know is that Akai has a decent history in the world of analog synthesizers. The AX80 was so ahead of its time when it was released in 1984, and to this day remains a unique collector's item for many synth enthusiasts. Akai means red in Japanese, but when it comes to the Timberwolf, Akai stands for a kind of average instrument. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Before I dig too hard, let's dig into the facts. The Akai Timberwolf is a four-voice polyphonic analog synthesizer. Its most defining feature is its ability to be configurable as four monophonic synths, a four-voice unison, or four-voice polyphonic synth. The offset on Timberwolf can be either square or sawtooth waveform. Let's quickly take a listen. Each voice has its own dedicated four-pole low-pass filter and resonance knob, which sounds pretty good. The filter envelope and decay knob do have the ability to create some pretty decent acid patches. Since each voice is independent, there's a dedicated tuning and volume knob on each channel, and they behave as expected. I appreciate the tune knob having a center indent. This helps you easily reset the knob to its default when you need to play in polyphonic or unison mode. On the right of the Timberwolf, you'll find the howl knob, and whatever you do, never, ever, Turn the howl knob past here. There is never a reason to turn it past this point. I don't know exactly who designed the distortion section, but they clearly never heard of the term, subtle. All four voices have their own 32-step dedicated sequencer, meaning the sequencer features four tracks in total. Each of the sequence tracks send their notes via MIDI in poly mode. You can have track one trigger the Timberwolf, and tracks two through four trigger other synths, keyboards, drum machines, etc. But here's the thing when it comes to the Timberwolf. Less is not more. And with this little sonic shaping ability on each voice, what's even the point of touting this as a feature? Why do four voices wrong when you can't even do one voice right? A funny thing that I found annoying on the Timberwolf is that it's got these cheap looking screws on the front panel. This just looks awful. But you know what's even funnier? On all the photos of the Timberwolf on Akai's website, these cheap looking screws are nowhere to be found. I guess even they knew they weren't at all appealing. But then again, maybe I'm wrong about all this. So let me ask you, does this seem like a fresh approach to analog? Where, where's the LFO? Where, where's the LFO? Where... Does this seem like a novel approach to sequencing? And? And? Begin. What? 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 No! None of this is fresh or novel, at least not to me. Yes, it does more than some might expect, but the way in which you achieve these is nothing short of... Boring. And with that being said, I give the Akai Timberwolf my final score of four shepherd boys crying wolf, but no one cares because it's a lame ass Timberwolf out of 10. I've gotta be honest with you guys, a wolf in sheep's clothing isn't a term of endearment. I wanted to prove the critics wrong and announce that the Timberwolf was truly a beast. Instead, it was an exhausting, uninspiring experiment and a test of my patience. It's a decent piece of hardware and an analog synth that at least stays in tune. But shouldn't a synth inspire creativity and not just prove to be exactly what you expected? There's so many better options and I'm happy that Akai threw their hat in the synth ring. But in my opinion, this is a total knockout and the Timberwolf is down for the count. Oh, um, well, to end on a positive note, I'll be giving away my Akai Timberwolf. 
because can't you see how much fun you'll have with it? So look for your chance to enter to win it soon. Make sure you subscribe to me here and follow me on Instagram for your entry details. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.